Hi, it's me again. And welcome to the next episode of Setting Up Your Direct Bookings. Today, we'll be creating your site. You either have a choice to select a hospitable site from scratch. We will own the domain. We own the site itself. Um, technically, you own it. But we will help you create it in just a few clicks. The other option is to create a widget and add it to your own site if you already have an existing one. But today, let's start with adding a hospitable site. First, you click on create a site in here, and you'll have to select a specific subdomain. This can either be um, any word, a name of a property, or a group of properties that you own, for example. But you have to take in mind that if you decide to use just a hospitable domain later on and not add a domain of your own, you would need to add like a temporary semi-permanent um, name here because in order for you to edit it, you would actually have to create a new one, which may be a bit tedious. It takes a few steps, but still tedious to create it from complete scratch. So think of what you wish to actually add in and add it in here. But this one I'll just put uh, uh, Dawn and then I'll select the properties that I wish to add. I can list all of my properties if I've already collected them all, or I can only select the ones that I wish to have direct on. I can maybe just select two or three and I create another site for another property, something like that, up to you. But for this one, I'll select all my properties and create my site. Once I do, the system will create magic and try to create a site for me. And it will take me to the direct setup itself for the booking. Now, this is not necessarily a checklist. You can go over through any of them at any parts. And we have the preview section here to help you see what you've already added on the site. Right now, it only shows the properties because it's the only thing I have. Most of it are still blank. And we'll try to talk about what to add and how to add them here. Now, the domain is something that you want to add later once it's published. Um, if you own a GoDaddy domain or you bought a domain of your own, for example, Dawn.com, something like that, you can add it in here, but you'll wish to add that later on after you have published it because you need to have a published site before you actually get a cost of domain. Now, to work on your site setup, we'll go to design and select a theme that fits us. We are currently defaulted into clean, and we can choose any of them. For example, I can choose warm and homey. But to make you, I mean, to help make you that, make, give you that decision, you can click on preview to see what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be this way. Uh, it's blue, not my favorite, but yellow is, for example. And then I can click on property, and this is what a property page would look like. I like the circles and the thingy here and how it looks. It looks fun. If I decide to actually get this one, I can go ahead and hit select, save, and my actual preview earlier when I refresh it. should show differently here there site so now looks different still is blank because i didn't add in any information let's go back to design and see what else we need to do next thing we're going to do is to add our site logo if you don't have one yet maybe look for an icon in google um, so that it will replace the hospitable which is default here you would require a logo because the logo itself is actually the home button. So if your guests would go to any other pages, they can easily go back to the home page by clicking your logo. Next is the hero title and subtitle. Most of our users use this like um, direct book direct or Dawn rentals. Let's just say. And then the subtitle, for example, would be book, direct, and save. 
something like that. And let's just try and save that. And I'll show you what it looks like now. There we go. So up to you, we want to put it here. The fonts and the colors, again, are dictated by the templates. They cannot be edited individually yet. If you want a different font, if you want a different color based on your brand, you'd want to select a different template. There are several ones that you can choose from. Next is that slider images. I'll try to upload an image. Save this one. And load it. It's taking a bit longer. There we go. Once it's uploaded, I'll just continue and save the information as I should. And I can go on and continue with the other steps. We have the socials. If you have your Facebook page, for example, as facebook.com slash Dawn, you just want to put Dawn here, for example. Same thing with Instagram. You wouldn't want to include the facebook.com part, just the one after the slash. Same thing with Twitter and Instagram. And then you can input an About Us section or a footer section up to you. You can keep it blank or you can add one of your own. But for this one, I'll just try and save, which is already saved, as you can see there. Refresh it. And there goes my photo. If I have several photos added, which I won't try anymore because my internet's not that good <laughs> right now, it will be a slideshow instead of a static image. So on all templates, it works that way. If you put in a single one, it shows as a static image. If you put in several ones, it will be a slideshow. Next that you'd want to set up is your properties. You selected this earlier, but you can still select it later. There are, um, I selected all properties, which means that anything that I would add later on would automatically be added. If I did not select all properties earlier and only selected one, for example, every time I add a new property, it will only be added if I go in and select it in this page, properties page. Now we have these checks to identify if these um, properties are eligible to be added to the direct site. For this example, this other one, the reason it's not eligible is because this property is not located in the US and it does not have enough photos. If the issue is it does not have enough photos to view it, you'll go to edit property details and then click on details here and make sure that they are added here. If you have a Verbo account and no connected Airbnb, we are unable to pull those for you. But if you have them with Airbnb, just give it a go a few minutes to try to get them. If not, you can like click this resync. If it still doesn't work, you can always message us, support at hospitable.com, so we can try to manually pull those photos in for you. Let's go back to direct on that setup. Once you've completed, selected your properties, your um, other step is to also change your URL. That will only be available after publishing. Right now, what it would be is whatever your site is. So I have dawn.hospitable.rentals slash cozy dash house dash in dash da dash neighborhood, which is a very long thing. You can edit that only after it's published. Next is property search. This is an option that we have available, which is in beta. It's not yet fully complete. We can add things to it later on. But right now you can enable it or disable it as you wish to. This is how it works, I'll show you. So we have the locations here. I can remove the locations in here if all of them are in the same country or state, for example, I can just remove that and just leave the check-in and check-out dates. And when I do the search, for example, search to guest, this is how it would show. It would show me the property. And selecting one would take me to the property itself. 
and here. Click it on the calendar and continue to request a button. There. Um, there are no items here. There should be like details, but I didn't add any because it's just a test information. But everything that is on your properties page should be added on the description too on this. So if you need to edit anything, you can edit it there and have it added in here later on. You can disable the map search or enable it up to you. And once you're ready, once you've checked everything and it looks perfect on that preview, you can go ahead and publish your site. I'm not going to do it <laughs> because um, this uh, properties aren't really left, but that's how you do it. Now, uh, this video is already too long, so I'll create another video on how you would set up your self-hosted site. Thank you, and I'll see you again on another video. Thank you. Bye.